Hi, I'm Drew Featherston, and here's my final presentation. Through the development of technology, the growth of the media, and their impact on society, it is all combined to be tremendous. With such easy access to the media, professional sports and athletes have become prominent topics. Ever since the NFL, MLB, and NBA, sports and sports coverage have grown and evolved around male sports. Studies have shown that in 2009, the percentage of sports media on women was lower than it had been in the past two decades. History has shown, history has shown that fan bases started as male sports teams and has now affected the growth and emergence of women's professional sports like the WNBA. Media strategies in today's society has hindered women from getting rid of the feminine, sexually appealing, non-physical stereotypes. Not only is there a lack of media coverage for women's sports, when they're in the media, the stereotypes are still consistent with what the feminist uh, characteristics are like, which is the, the feminist type. Soft image, and, affected, and it has affected the way people think about women's sports and whether they want to watch it, and it has also affected the development and, the, and even how much money their industry is worth, or the women's professional sports are probably worth now. Using disciplines of history and media strategies, I will be able to gather past and current re reasons as to why the media has developed into a billion-dollar industry and the reasons as to the inequality of men and women in the media. I will also be able to utilize research and statistics from past media how the and how the beginning of sports has affected the way it is covered today. History will provide insight as to how the media strategies and history of technology will provide insight as to how the media has changed from past until now and how the media impacts, uh, the, um, impacts coverage and what type of image was reflected on different sports and their different types of athletes. To see the formation of the media industry, you must look back to the beginning of the 1900s. The book Media, Sports, and Society talks about how the 1920s began the rage of sports, and from, from then on, which was from then on until about 1970s, was all male athletes and sports fan bases. It was not until the 1970s where females were actually began to organizing in professional, or actually sports within high school, college, any organized sports. The media has won from this because of the male, because of how uh, popular the male sport got. It jump started the media, which also helped the uh, professional sports by putting their, by putting the professional sports stories in the media. So it's kind of a symbiotic relationship. History has made it very difficult for women's sports to grow and develop. Researchers have also found that when a small percentage of women's uh, sports and athletes are displayed in the media, they're still depicted on a very woman-like basis uh, with more feminist, with a lot of feminist characteristics. For example, uh, in 2015, 21 of the 75 Sports Illustrated magazines were females. From my observations, most of the covers of the women were of, uh, were of physically appealing and feminist type. Uh, they weren't even in their uh, sports uniform. They were in bathing suits uh, showing off their body. The portray this portrayal of women has made people's stereotypes stick even more and enhance their thoughts on and feelings towards uh, women playing sports. Hein Online states, sports... And trust used to boost uh, sports are used to boost TV ratings, sell magazines and newspapers, and attract corporate sponsors. This has a major effect on women because media distribu distributions know what male sports fans fan bases want to see, and they accommodate them. The consistent portrayal of women this way will not develop the current uh, sports organizations for women, and will not help influence younger generations that. Are what that are, have so much access to the media. If you're a young girl, you have um, unlimited amount of access to the media, and you want to be able to grow up watching uh, women playing basketball and soccer and succeeding, and the stories being about them, and that will help them grow even that sport even more. Overall, the beginning of media and sports created a very positive relationship that helped each industry grow. The problem was that the sport and fans were following male sports, and after that, and male sports and athletes, and that is how. The first major sports leagues were even started, the NFL, MLB, and NBA. Those were, that's what jump-started it all. This, I feel like, had, has had a negative effect on women and had still have their stereotype and still have given their stereotypes today. Currently, the media has done a very poor job of regulating male and female media to get rid of stereotypes. 
to strive for and to strive for whatever whatever in today's days that we're all striving to create uh, equality for men and women, especially in the media and in sports media, which is what we've seen uh, past and currently. Thank you.